So it's currently about 5.45 in the morning, and I'm about to head out and go fishing with my cousin, Scott Vance, and his son, Damon. Uh, before I go, though, I was going to talk a little bit about Scott and what he's done, because he's had some pretty interesting careers. And first thing was he was the senior vice president of the National Wild Turkey Federation, and he was also the CEO of Union Sportsman Alliance, and he was the TV show host for Save the Habitat and Save the Hunt for Brotherhood Outdoors. And now he is the CEO of a secret fishing company. I'm not allowed to say what it is yet because it hasn't released, but whenever he tells me I can uh, make it public, I will. But for now, he's the CEO of a secret fishing company. And also his son, Damon, and I'll introduce him a little bit because he'll be with us. He is good at baseball, and he's about halfway through high school, and he's on a pretty good path, so I'd say you'll probably see him in the future play on the field. So, yeah, that's about it for them, and I'll catch you guys whenever we're leaving and heading to the lake. Damn. I had one. Yeah. This thing real. I've worked on this reel before, and I think that's why I went to reel. It wasn't real. Oh, my drag is like way down. That could be why. I don't want to go here. Molly. Got him good. Yeah. I took his lip. <laughs> yeah. That rip ripped the lip. Sorry about that. That was a big fish. Did you hear that? We were back there on the bank. Got whoops. Dang it. Okay, hang on to him. Up here for the all we want to do is take a picture. Okay, made him look bigger than what he was. He came out of the water and grabbed that, didn't he? he came, yeah, came up to the top. Well, dang, I'm being bad shape for a fishing tournament right now. <laughs> I've missed every fish I've got a bite from. <laughs> That's funny. Mm, monster. <laughs> oh, 
I reeled it in the water off the rock. Hit it. We're in the small fish now. Ow. Pretty. Yep. Hold it really close to the camera. Make them look it's big. Really big, yeah. Six pounder. Need somebody with a really small hand. <laughs> Baby. Make my fish look bigger. Fish. There you go. There you go. Nice. Oh! Spit it. That one's close. I don't know how the heck he didn't get hooked. Oh, there he is. Oh, that was a good one. That is a good one. Yeah. Oh, yeah. There we go. Oh, I had a camera on this whole time. I didn't even good. know. Good. You got a good one right there. Here, let me grab the net. Ready? Oh! <laughs> he jumped out. Yeah. There you go. Get out of there. <laughs> there you go. Spicy. Got him. That's at length three and a half. Yeah. Three, three and a half pounder. <laughs> oh gosh. I forgot there's a dock right there. I think this bank still produces, man. What do you think? Love it. Yeah. You want to turn around and go back down it? Yep. <laughs> I think so. I think if we back off just a little bit, because mm -hmm. fishing out just a little bit. That thing had some sharp teeth yeah. for a bass. Yeah, that was a bigger one. A little bit bigger than the one that came out from mine. That was our. You can see him clear as day from the hit it. Yeah. You saw him eat it, didn't you? Uh huh. I saw everything. Those gills. <laughs> oh gosh. Guess we can't explain to the camera what happened. So uh, the trolling motor, it's got a little. A uh, little knob that goes right there on that screw so you tighten the troll motor up and the troll motor was like about to fall off so I loosened that thing so I could tighten it back up and it fell off and went in the water so now we halfway have a troll motor that works and falls off the boat but we're gonna have to make do. Alright guys so it was a pretty long good day of fish and we ended up catching six fish today well I guess you could count my fish that kind of came off like right at the boat. But uh, we started at, we, well, we didn't really get in the water until about like 6.15ish. And then we got off, I think, whenever I looked at the time, whenever I was getting back in the truck after loading up the boat, it was like 12.30 or something like that. So we only stayed out there for a little bit. The bite slowed down majorly after about 11.30. We didn't, I don't think we really got any bites after that. It was just any time in the morning we did pretty good. So uh, yeah. Thanks for Scott and Damon going out with me and hope y'all be able to get out on the lake again pretty soon and catch more fish.